Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I'm here to talk to you guys about the upcoming super full moon. This moon is going to be super special because it is going to be a super full moon as well as a lunar eclipse. It is a flower moon and it is also a full moon in Sagittarius. It's happening on the 26th of May and I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's start with the first thing. It's called the flower moon because Native Americans saw this moon as the full moon when all the flowers were in bloom and that's why it's called the flower moon. I think that that is such a pretty name for a moon. I just some of the moons have such pretty names like the pink moon, the flower moon, the snow moon. I, I just think they're gorgeous. So this is the flower moon and uh, it is going to be a super full moon, which basically means that the moon is going to be at a very close point to the earth. Now, the very brightest super full moon that we were going to have this year happened last month in April, but this one is still going to be very big, very bright and very powerful. Um, a super full moon brings a lot of extra energy than a regular full moon because it is so close and moons control our water. They control the water on our planet. They control the water in our bodies. So you're just going to feel even more of an impact as well as just the beautiful luminescence of the moon. So this moon is also going to be a total lunar eclipse, which is just very cool and awesome. And if you're interested in trying to see that, it's going to begin at 1.47 a.m. in Portland, Oregon time in the United States. And you guys can adjust that for wherever you live. And it is going to be about 14 minutes before the uh, shadow fully crosses over the moon. So if you're interested in seeing that, unfortunately, not everybody is going to be able to see that because you may have shadows, clouds, things like that. But you know, that would be the time to look, try your best. The last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that it's going to be a Sagittarius moon, a Sagittarius full moon. So guys, here's the deal. This moon is going to bring in a lot of fun energy. It's also going to bring in a sigh of relief to some signs. Some signs are going to have a really easy time with this super full moon in Sagittarius. That's a lot of S's. So if you are an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Libra, an Aquarius, you're going to have a better, even Gemini, you're going to have a better time and it's going to be a really good energy for you and use that energy to your fullest potential, whether you want to use it for scripting or rituals or just creativity, romance, whatever it is, use that energy for all you can. Unfortunately for the other signs, you may be feeling some negative side effects. You may be feeling more moody. You may be feeling more depressed, more down. Just understand that that extra heaviness is just kind of because of this full moon effect. This super full moon is pulling on you a little bit more. Be gentle with yourself and try to do some cleansing and releasing. In fact, the full moon is a great time to do cleansing rituals. So when you have a new moon, it's all about what you want to bring into your life. When you have a full moon, it's about what you want to release. So that's why full moons are great for cleansing crystals, tarot cards. They're great for just cleansing yourself. They're great for doing any kind of rituals or scripting about what you want to release, what you want to let go of. So I would suggest you take some time and think about the things that you want to let go of during this upcoming super potent, super full moon. Another thing about Sagittarius moons is it is a great time to think about yourself. Have you been stagnating? This may be some time to shake off the dust and try something new. Get yourself out of your rut. Sagittarius are very transforming signs. They're always moving around, trying new things. They're quite the adventure. They're leaders and they like to look forward to the future. And so if you've been feeling super stagnant, this is your call to action. Use this extra juice to shake up the dust and try something new. Get yourself out of your rut. It's also a time to look at yourself and think about how you're presenting yourself to the world. Are you being too arrogant? Are you being too full of yourself? You may want to think about being a little more understanding or sensitive, dialing it back if you need to. Another thing that you want to think about is, have you been shirking responsibilities? Are there things that you're ignoring or neglecting? 
like your studies, your work, things that are going to help contribute to your long-term goals that you've been neglecting. This is a time to kind of think about that and maybe redirect some of that energy to getting yourself a little bit more structured. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am sure looking forward to the next super full moon. And if you want to find more stuff out about full moons, new moons, and everything else, you can subscribe to my channel. I do two live shows a week. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful full moon experience.